Welcome back everyone, Stefan here on the French Cooking Academy. Today we are learning how to make a ragu of lamb. Oh, it's also called the saute of lamb. So there's different type of cooking techniques when it comes to meat in French cuisine. And today we're going to learn this specific one. The ragu is basically cooking meat in a sauce. So there's a wide array of sauce and today the recipe I've chosen is the saute of lamb in a creamy uh, white wine and mushroom sauce. So it sounds complicated, but it's not. It's a one pot recipe, by the way. So not too difficult to make and you don't need much pans and stuff like that, but there's still a few steps. So let me tell you how it goes. I'm going to take a big pan. We're going to first brown all the lamb, the pieces of lambs together, discard them, add a bit of leeks, a bit of onions, and let them sweat in a bit of butter. When that's done, we're going to add back the meat, put some flour, some white wine, some water, and create the sauce in which we're going to cook the meat in. When we got this, we will just add mushrooms in there, let it infuse, and finish it off with a bit of cream, and maybe some egg yolks to get that nice, silky sauce we're all looking for. So it's a very straightforward recipe, don't worry. Now, at the end of the video today, I'm going to ask you two questions to test your culinary skins as well. So a little bit something new and a little exercise for the day. But let's not waste any more time and let's start this recipe of the saute of lamb. And welcome back everyone to this French cooking tutorial. Today we're learning how to make the saute of lamb uh, and do not call this a stew, please. And uh, because this is such a general name in French cuisine, we've got different names and they are binded or attached to different techniques. Here, the ragu and the saute and use a particular technique for the food preparation of the recipe today. Finely sliced onion, finely sliced leeks, just the white part, and button mushroom that we're going to finely slice just before putting them in the sauce. The meat we use today is lamb. This is a shoulder of lamb. And for the sauce, or to create the sauce, white wine, water, a bit of butter, salt and pepper, and a bouquet garni. Very simple. To bind the sauce, flour, and to give it that creamy and silky texture, we're going to have some cream and the addition of egg yolks. Now, Keep these three here uh, in memory because you will find it very often in, fridge, in, in French cooking and the, the trifecta of flour, cream and these egg yolks at the ends to really give some nice texture and body to your sauce. Huh? So now we're ready, let's get cooking. Okay, so we're going to start with a big pan and this is a pan with a thick bottom and sometimes you can start browning your meat without fat. Uh, but I always like to put a bit of butter. So if your your meat is really fat, you can start it with no fat at the bottom. For me, I'm gonna put a bit of butter and put my pieces of meat right in there. Now note that I'm using a pan that's got a nice kind of large surface at the bottom here because I want everything to get a nice brownish color. So I'm gonna leave it like this, no salt, no pepper, uh, on a medium to high heat and get that brown color going on one side and then turn the meat around to get the brown on the other side. Okay, look at this, a lot of smoke in here, but let me try to grab one piece. I haven't moved the meat, huh? note that I haven't moved it. Look at this, you see that color? Okay, nice and brown, and I'm using a pair of tongs and not a fork. If you use a fork, huh, the uh, juice is gonna have the tendency to escape from your meat and, you know, the, the, the taste inside is not going to be staying inside, it's going to be going everywhere already in the bottom of your pan. So usually it's better to use a little pair of tongs like that and one by one just turn around your pieces of meat like that. You see the brown sides now up and the uncooked sides at the bottom. Alright, so I think I'm done and look at these colors in there, you see? Now this is already uh, a good color and when you start to see these you're on the way to make a good dish. This is how I, st I check things, you know, when it starts to be good like this, it smells good, it's got the nice the little pieces of pink, nice and brown, and you know already you're on track to good things. So what I'm going to do now is basically take the pieces of meat and put them in a little bowl like this. We're going to discard them just to put the onions and the licks. So get rid of all the pieces and put them in a bowl and let them on the side just for a bit. Now, as soon as the uh, meat is out, you're going to reduce the heat under your pan to a very kind of gentle. I've added a piece of butter in there, you see, and you've got all the brown uh, you know, juices as a caramelized. And immediately, boom, the leeks and the onions. Uh, I'm going to use my spoon 
and on a very very low heat so from here don't burn everything this is the step that a lot of people get wrong and you start on a high heat and what you do is to keep the high heat put the onions and everything starts to burn if it burns your stew is going to be having that bitter taste and you don't want that my advice go on a very very low heat if it's too low you can put it back on but we just want to have these things here to sweat meaning in a little bit of butter the water the, the vegetation water contained in the onions and the leeks is going to be released and it's going to start to cook very very gently and that take a good five minutes so really easy going on the heat huh? and we're going to leave it there for a good five minutes now after five minutes what do you do you look at how you're going with your onions and your leeks so what you move them and if you've done the things pro properly with the heat if it's not too hot look what you get this is clean what was totally dirty or covered in juices of meat caramelized have all gone in my onions and if you think the onions are already cooked in five minutes no way i wanted to force you to have that heat down because it's so important it needs 10 minutes so we did five give it another five now that you got the right heat all right so now we are ready to continue once your onions are ready and this is how it looks like in here onions and leeks nicely colored nicely sweated you can take all of your meat back in and then gently mix everything together now as soon as you've put the meat and it's, it's been uh, stirred like this you put your heat back on high because the temperature is gonna come down because of the meat that's quite a bit coldish okay uh, so when you're back into temperature you can hear a chant like this and listen to this and now we're gonna add basically a tablespoon of flour this is gonna be the ingredients or the ingredients sorry that's gonna be binding uh, the sauce that's gonna make a thickening agent for the sauce all right and there's a technique and when you add flour with something else that is a culinary technique that's going to be one of the questions in the quiz yeah? so that's a little hint for you anyway when you've got this that's nicely diluted like this bouquet garni which is just bay leaf and a bit of thyme i'm going to add some pepper in here and plenty of well plenty you know good amount of salt okay so you get all these colors going you can now add the wine uh, one glass of wine and the same amount of water very simple when it's done uh, you mix everything together we're just gonna now bring the mix back to the to bring it to boiling point as soon as it boils we're gonna reduce the heat and to have a really gentle simmer and leave this to cook covered with a lid for 30 minutes okay as you can see it's reached the boil uh, what i'm going to do now of course is taste to see where things are going again uh, always keep the direction uh, it's like driving a car are you on the good track are you on the right track let's have a taste <laughs> that's good oh the lamb already tastes good i love that with the wine i can almost feel the bouquet garni already like an explosion in flavor in the pan wow Sorry, I'm getting excited. Anyway, this now, lid on, 30 minutes cooking time. 30 minutes have passed. Uh, I'm gonna take the lid off. And immediately, you're gonna take all of the mushroom that have been sliced and put them in. That's gonna add some extra juice and water and mushroom essence to your dish. So you mix them well. And then immediately we're gonna put the lid back on. We don't want to lose the heat that's in there and keep on cooking our meat for further 10 minutes after 10 minutes open the lid and you're going to check your preparation as you can see there's much more water in there that's because of the mushroom so much more liquid so it's very good that's what we want now you're going to turn your heat off and you're going to put your pan of the heat on the side and we're going to continue the sauce and now it's time to finish the sauce now as you can see here i show you we have that sauce that's very liquid and uh, it's not super super appetizing it's pretty good already but what we want is that nice kind of creamy sauce so what we're going to do typical french cooking technique uh, you're going to take your cream all the cream in a bowl separate you're going to add your egg yolks okay and you're going to break them mix them together 
done. A little bit is a teaspoon of lemon juice just for the edge. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna have to filter this a little bit of grain fill in there, no problem. Okay, you got all in here, and the last addition when you've got that, you're gonna mix that with some of your warm juice. Now you have your basis. When that's done, we're gonna add this to the preparation. Now, before we had our cream, let's have a look at what we have here. You can see the juice. Huh? It's a nice little sauce. We've got the onion, the leeks, and we've got the meat. Let me fish out. And uh, well, let me not take my hand, but see the meat is nicely cooked, nice and tender, as you can see here. So I think it's pretty good. So from here, basically, and you take your cream and all in there. Okay. Then you take the wooden spoon and we're going to continue to cook that sauce on a very, very low heat. And that sauce that we've got here now must absolutely not boil. Okay. I repeat, that sauce cannot be boiling. So back on the heat and for a good five minutes on ultra low heat. You know, keep on stirring like this to make sure it does not boil and we're going to wait until it gets that coating consistency on the spoon. Huh? My pan is back on the heat and as it warms up, the one thing you need to do is this. You need to grab and fish out the bouquet garni and take it out. That's it. And the rest, it's just a waiting game. We're going to wait gently, patiently for our sauce to become beautiful. Okay, the time is up. Uh, we've got the sauce and uh, let's have a look. Yes, napping consistency has been achieved. Let me rinse that spoon. And this is what we've got. Uh, it's a very simple uh, type of uh, preparation and that's sauté of lemon. You've got that very creamy sauce and it's not, it's not too thick and we keep some liquidity. Um, but what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in a little bowl and test it out. Okay, so let's serve myself a bit of sauce so I'm not making a massive mess. So pieces of lamb, uh, just to try anyway. And I'm just going to pour some of that sauce over. All right, so the test, as you can see, the brown meat is on there. We've got some mushrooms and I'm just going to try to grab a piece of meat on here, nice and brown, a bit of onion and maybe, well, let's, let's do it again. A bit of mushroom and that, that's, that's a generous portion. Here we go. Wow, it's intense. The meat is kind of nice and, and still solid. It's got lots of body in there, that lamb, the shoulder. But that sauce, oh, infusion of white wine, lamb taste, mushrooms, hint of cream, beautiful. And when it's liquid like that, oh, I'm tempted to take more, but let me show you. What we do a lot in France, take a piece of French baguette. And as you eat your meal like that, you will dip the bread in the beautiful creamy sauce and you can add a little piece of piece of meat on there, piece of mushroom, whatever you want, and a little tartine. Wow, I'm going to heaven. And that's a heck of a good comfort food. Wow, I'm telling you guys, sometimes simple dishes like this, this one pot recipe can be super, super good. I highly recommend it at home. But that completes uh, the video and like I said, I'm gonna now enter the quiz and ask you two questions and here are the questions of the day. What is the simple French culinary techniques we've used in this video in order to thicken our sauce? That's the question number one. Quite easy, I gave a hint in the video. Question number two, a bit more difficult. As I said in the video, this is called a sauté or a ragout, which is a meat cooked in sauce. Now in French cooking, you also have something called a fricassé, like the fricassé of chicken or fricassé of lamb, which is also meat cooked in sauce. However, there's one thing that differs totally one from the other. What is that thing? What is the difference between a ragu and a fricassé? But I'll leave you with this, guys, as always. If you have any questions, if you want to send me your answers, use the comment section or send them on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. You can also use Facebook if you can. As always, if you want to be a Patreon, it is the time to support the channel because times are hard. Sometimes on YouTube, you know, it's kind of unstable. 
and I love to have supporter. It really guarantees the channel to continue and be independent. So go patrons, go thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time for another French cooking video. Take care all, bye bye.